Hello all heroes and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe. And today we're just touching base here. When the, By the time this video goes up, the um, event, the Think and Act event will either be done or just about done. Kind of depends on the timing there of when I upload the video. So this will be probably on its way out. Only got a few hours left in it and just wanted to touch base and see where we're at. So... You will see here, I had no trouble recruiting enough heroes, and I think most people probably won't have too much trouble with this one. And I did run through 24 iteration, iterations of the event, and I did not have good luck, actually. I only got one elite out of the entire event. Meanwhile, I'm seeing people on the Reddit and the Discord posting doubles and even triples on a good day. I got one out of all 24 of those. I got one elite, which is... Just bad luck on my part. That's uh, no, nothing I can do about that. Such is the nature of mobile games. But I get did get an actual ton of food. Like, holy crap! I've got a lot of food to work with here. Uh, yeah, I am. I am doing well in the food department. I am doing very, very well. Basically, what we're waiting on here, waiting on a few things. Um, I need more seismic so I can get them up to. Seismic 5 star and then feed the exceptional plus criminals I have into him to make him omnipotent And then I need even more seismics to make him omnipotent plus but that's gonna be in distant future and then I need monster girls and Adam Eves In order to power them up Further um with Adam Eve at least I've got all the Adam Eves I need I just need some more fodder and I have one elite Martian man I just need more Martian men to get him powered up, or, or I suppose a war woman or another red rush will get the job done too, technically speaking. Or invincible, or on man. I've got a lot of spares there, it's just I literally need one more elite of almost any character in Earth's Defenders to get Adam Eve powered up, and then I just need a lot more Adam Eve copies. And with Monster Girl, I need quite a few more Monster Girl copies. I've only got the one Monster Girl here, which means I need three more to push her back past that legendary wall. Um, so yeah, going very well there. I also did want to briefly touch on the shop here. I actually have a video that I'm planning to make in the probably near future. We'll see how the timing works out based on actually going over the prices in this shop and, you know, which, which deals are good, which deals are bad. But to start out here, we do have an exclusive artifact bundle here for the Martian Spear where every 11 seconds damages a random enemy at melee range for 70% of the hero's attack. So basically, it's an extra little bit of damage. Don't spend money on these. Just don't. I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna cut through the cut through the noise there and just say, don't bother, it's not worth it. Period. Done. Okay. And now, while we're at it, let's check on this. By the time this video comes out, this might also be over. And now we get a grand total of 60 Martian Spears. See, it's so funny to me. They literally make that pack. Before the first iteration of the Martian Spears event is even done. It's like they know they know you can't power it up. I mean, it, I, I don't have a whole lot of gripes. I mean, for the most part, I get it. You know, when you're when you're playing a mobile game, you kinda sign up for this. And I am no stranger to mobile games. I mean, hey, keep the capitalism wheel running, I guess. That's I, when you're you just kinda sign up for this sort of stuff. It's it is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Whales keep the game alive. But I really question their strategy on the artifacts. I mean, characters, okay, I guess, but why do the artifacts gotta be treated as such a premium? That I don't understand and probably never will. Hopefully they'll fix that one day, maybe a little bit of reform in the artifact department, because holy crap, it's hard to get them powered up. Um, meanwhile, we of course have our newest weekly event, Get Defensive. Now, this is gonna be different from my previous iterations in that instead of using someone like Alan or Titan, as kind of a pseudo tank, I'm gonna use Omni Man. Omni Man, I did get him powered up a little bit. Just gonna throw in all of our heroes. So basically, we've just got a whole lot of muscle. Omni Man, kind of being a pseudo tank, he's got the stats. He's the great stat ball. He is just lacking Alan's um, bulkiness. I did give Omni Man the burger, so that is some healing he's gonna receive there. Um, but basically, we're just in this for raw damage. We want as much damage as humanly possible, and we will go from there. Starting out, that won't be much of a problem, but I think that will be more of a factor once we kind of get into the back half here. We got some green ghosts. I think we'll be seeing a lot of green ghosts 
Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Easy peasy. Nice, nice. I actually did make top 50 in the last event, which made me very happy. I got two dossiers instead of the one from the previous threshold. So I was, I was pretty thrilled about that one, actually. Nice, nice. Maybe we'll be able to repeat that success. The last event, the last weekly nightmares, it was the rough one with all the bulkiness. Between the immortals and the monster girls who just refused to drop. That was a, that was a bulky one. Oh, we got some seismics. That's interesting. They could be a pain if they start flying away in future, in future levels. Nice thing is they're pretty low level right now, so they don't have their abilities. Easy peasy gems, dossiers. And of course, as usual, every 10 we get a school's out card if we can complete three stars. Cry and die. There we go. Delightful. But yeah. As I'm sure y'all have also noticed, I have been making more Nikkei content and very much enjoying that. So if you wanted to support me, I would greatly appreciate it if you could check out those videos. Maybe give Nikkei a try if that sort of thing interests you. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel because that would be nice. That would just be cool. Okay, I think we're we're, all, we're getting close to 3,000 subscribers, which is like two years ago. Nah, never thought I'd get to that point. Ever. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all for that. That's been pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. That has been awesome. As far as this game goes, I expect... It seems to be an every four-week period that we get a new character. So we had uh, Universa... No, not Universa, Russ. We had Russ a while back, which was... Um, the last new character. After him, we had the extra refreshes event. That was one week. We just had the think and act event. That's week two. So next week will probably be another filler week. Maybe like another, if we're kind of judging it based on previous cadences, next week might be another uh, faction event, which will be really funny if I'm actually right about that. Um, Because that was what happened with um, the event before Russ was we had the amazing From World Beyond faction event, which uh, was uh, very tasty, very, very profitable for me. I appreciated that one very, very much. Um, so maybe we'll get another, maybe we'll get another event. Could be based on, I, I guess probably based on either GDA or um, or criminals. The reason I say that is we technically did have an Earth's Defenders one. I think that was like the first iteration of the faction event shop where it was like all Earth Defenders characters. I think that's even how I got my Invincible up to Omnipotent Plus um, at the time. So we basically had Earth Defenders. We've had um, World Beyond characters, obviously, looking at my uh, ridiculously powerful universe right now. So if I were to take a guess, I'd say next week is going to be a faction event shop for either GDA or criminals. You'll get come back and come back to this video a week, or actually, uh, I guess by the time this video comes out, it'll be either Tuesday or Wednesday. So I guess y'all only have to wait a little bit. So when the next event comes out, come back to this video and comment if I was right or wrong. If I was right, then praise my omnipotent clairvoyance on how I have figured out the formula of this game. And if I was wrong, then go down to the comments and mercilessly roast me about how I think I know what I'm talking about, when at the end of the day, I just don't. I'm just a goofy, just a goofy guy who spends too much money and don't know what he's talking about at all. So yeah. Just uh, you know, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below, all you, all you future watchers. Or if you if you're watching this before the event, come back when the event comes out and let me know if I am right or stupid, because I very well could be stupid. But that's just my prediction. And then next week will probably be an actual new character. Question is, what will the new character be? Will we be filling out the From Worlds Beyond roster, or are we going to pivot to something else? Who knows. It is going to be kind of nutty if we do fill out 
uh, from Worlds Beyond finally, because we'll finally be able to say that they have a full team of elite characters. Which would be like, huh, the, 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 the event is, or the, the faction is finally complete. And then maybe they'll finally pivot to actually releasing some other Earth Defenders, or possibly um, some other GDA characters, because we've had a lot of criminals and a lot of From World Beyond characters lately. And by a lot, I mean all From World Beyond the criminal characters. But they've been pretty great, so hard to complain. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see what new character they actually do release. I'll be curious to see if my Cadence predictions are actually accurate. I'm just kind of going off of my own personal observations here. But we shall see. Question is, if they do release another World Beyond event for another character, do I just try to use it as an opportunity to crank up Universa more? Should I? Probably not, but... It would be tempting. It would be very tempting. Very tempting indeed. Y'all might have noticed that I did not actually spend the 1,900 gems per pack for the extra Think and Act um, tickets. I just kind of came to the conclusion that I'd rather save my gems for like another, like like a new character event or going crazy on a, on a faction event or something. I, I thought about it. I really went back and forth on it in my head. I'm like, you know what? I would rather save the gems for these other events that I can make videos on or get more, I don't want to say guaranteed growth, but be able to get into there and actually not have to rely too much on luck. Because the food value of the Think and Act tickets is pretty freaking good, but the fact that I have to burn an extra thousand gems on dossiers kind of sucks when I'd ra rather save those gems for like a new character event. Um, a la Universa and Angstrom. So I just decided to save that. I almost could get consistent clears um, of 20. I beat Wave 20 once, but I was having the hardest time getting it consistent. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe next time I'll go whole hog if I can consistently beat Wave 20 and get another batch of free characters. Eh, but I'm, I'm, I'm playing it safe right now. I'm being conservative. I'm saving my gems. Because I know for a fact that sooner or later, either a faction event or a new character will release, and I'll want to use my gems on that and probably make some videos on it while I'm at it, because I really enjoy doing those recruitment videos. Ooh, we lost the third star on this one, because green ghosts. That's going to be a problem. These green ghosts are going to be a pain. Well, at least it wasn't stage 30, but it's still kind of a pain that we're already losing stars. Oh, and we got Invincibles, too. Jeez. Come on. Come on. Oh, Invincible, just drop, please. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put Omni-Man in center and put Universe in the back. Just so that her attacks don't get too interrupted. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. Nice. Oh, we also have Monster Girls. That's interesting. But yeah, so I'm just like, I mean, like I said, I even gave Think and Act an honorable mention in my event farming guide, where I was like, yeah, it's pretty great. And by raw gem value, yeah, Think and Act is fantastic. It's just, I really don't like those 1,900 packs. Objectively, there's nothing wrong with them. Because it's like, okay, it's 300 per card, there's three cards, that's 900, and then five dossiers is worth 1,000 gems. So the math checks out. The, there's no problem with the math. And technically speaking, it's even more free-to-play cards, which is a good thing. I just don't want to invest the capital in it. I just hate that I have to buy dossiers along with the access cards. That, that's what gets on my, near, my, my nerves a little bit. But hey, I mean, freebie options are still freebie options. If you want those, go for it. Because at the end of the day, the gem value of those tickets, um, of the Think and Act tickets, is pretty freaking good. No denying that one. It's just... It is unfortunate that I just had such bad luck, because I really got nothing in the Elite Department. I think I got, like, the one Shrinking Ray, and that was it. So that admittedly really tampered my fire on that one, that, or, or dampened my fire. That one, that one really uh, turned me off to it, admittedly. If I had been getting more Elites, I probably would have been going for it, because I would have been riding high off of it. But all those... All those playthroughs, and I only got one. That one hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. That that hurt. 
Um, also, I am so close to getting through Wave 20 consistently. And I have powered up Doc Seismic a bit even since then. So maybe I even could get through Wave 20 now. Uh, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to move on. It's like, okay, I did, I had my fun. I got a lot of food. Now I'm ready to save my resources even more for new characters or events. Probably going to save for a new character. If they release, if my prediction is correct and they release a faction shop for um, GDA or criminal. If it's GDA, probably skip. The problem with GDA is that for every good character like Robot or Monster Girl, They've got a Bulletproof or a Shrinking Ray who are okay. Shrinking Ray is actually pretty good. Bulletproof is just a discount invincible and not in a good way. So it's like, yeah, there's great GDA characters. And then there's meh GDA characters. For every robot, there's, an, there's a Bulletproof. For every Monster Girl, there's a Shrinking Ray. So it's kind of, a, kind of going back and forth. And like, the Immortal is okay. He's kind of in the center of it. Uh, so if it's GDA faction event, probably skip. If it's a criminal event, hmm, <laughs> now that's a question. Because Doc Seismic is so close to being omnipotent plus. He is, he is so close, it's killing me. And I'd love to do a pivot from Doc Seismic to Angstrom once, once Doc Seismic's actually done. Oh, but would I spend the gems on it? That is the question. Do I want to spend the gems on, like, a faction event, or would I rather save them to go nuts on a new character? Nah. It's a question mark, man. It's a question and a half. Because I'm over here thinking, like, if, if slash when they release a new From World Beyond character, I would be shocked if it wasn't, like, a Viltrumite. Um, one of the Viltrumites that they fight in Season 2 on uh, Thraxa or Anissa. I, any one of them would be amazing and would absolutely fill out the roster very nicely. So I'm kind of over here wanting to save my gems for that because not only would that be a cool new From World Beyond character, but I could also get perhaps Russ powered up or I could power up Universa even more if I'm really feeling nuts. Um, That's just what I'm thinking. I just, I'd rather save my gems for that, honestly. I'm also trying to be efficient because I'm trying not to actually spend boatloads of money. I've, I've spent a pretty penny in this game. Not going to lie. I've gone a little nuts. Um, you can look at the Universa and see that for yourself. Even though, boy, howdy, she's been paying back. <laughs> having a bulky, having a cranked up Universa has been delightful. Um, dang it, those Ringos are a pain. Good gosh. Bam. Also, Omni-Man's been helping quite a bit. Um... But I'm over here like, I'd rather save for an event like that where you can literally just use gems to buy an unholy amount of characters because you can get a lot of free-to-play cards for the new character events and they pay out pretty good, so. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I said, though, a criminal faction event, that that's going to leave me with a choice. At the very least, I might could see if I get a few... Lucky Doc Seismic's just in the hourly refreshes, like not necessarily do a video of it, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But like I said, I just want to make sure I've got a ton of gems on hand for the new character events. Because to completely do the free-to-play options of a new character event, if I'm not mistaken, that would be a total of 15,000 gems. Because it would be 12,000 total for like the big $1,200 packs. Got some gems there, nice. And then 3,000 for the 10 individual cards, if I'm not mistaken. And that's a big if. Um, but yeah. Basically, that's what we're saving our gems for. That's what we want. I've really been tampering my my spending. Now, to be fair, I mean, I say all that. I actually do have dossiers sitting around. So just because I don't want to spend too many gems, as long as the refreshes are fixed, I can still, at the very least, burn the dossiers, which I'd be fine with. Slam and jam. Oh, those. I do not like the, the the green ghosts turning invisible. So, I mean, it's not like I couldn't participate in the events. It's just I wouldn't go quite so crazy like I did with Universa. <laughs> but if I could get Doc Seismic up to Omnipotent Plus, I would be A okay with that. Nice thing about Doc Seismic is he's got a ton of stuns. So, especially with like the Think and Act boss fight events, he's actually kind of nice. 
His ability to just bounce and stun the enemy for three freaking seconds really comes in handy every now and then. We're, we're, we're about to hit our wall here. We got through stage 40, which is pretty huge. How much farther can we get, though? Because these guys are starting to hurt a little bit. When there's no green ghosts, it's fine. And preferably no invincibles, but green ghosts is really a pain. Okay, there's one invincible and two seismics. We're on stage 43. Can we get through it? This might be this might be a little too much heat for me. But let's find out. Okay, Invincible's fighting Universa. She's taking the punches pretty well and doing her arc lightning strikes, so that's good, but she is taking some damage. Come on. Ooh, she is about toast. She is barely hanging on. Oh, she survived long enough to do her ability, though. That is huge. Ooh, that's another that's a nice thing about ranged characters, is they can stay far, far away from the danger. Ooh, those seismics hurt though. Holy crap. But we got through it. The double seismic ults there were um really painful on my ground forces. Fortunately I had a lot of flyers on the team, but wow. This is interesting. Two isotopes in the back and then some serious bulk in the front line. Can we get through it? Not as much offensive muscle, but they might just be too bulky for me to get through. Let's find out here. Yeah, they're hitting me pretty hard and pretty fast. Okay, Omni-Man got protected by Green Ghosts. That's good, but he's probably about to drop. Oh, well, actually, actually, Omni-Man, I run... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say he got saved by Isotope, and then he got utterly decked by Monster Girl. She just... she splattered him. Big hit from Universa. Ooh, this one's gonna be tight. This one is going to be tight, tight, tight. Duplicate is down. Invincible's not not out yet. He's still cooking and so is Green Ghost. We might get through this, actually. I think, I think we're coming out on top. Fortunately, the Magma dude's really dragging the team down. He does not do a lot of damage. Okay. Come on. Okay, Monster Girl's down. Now we just need to murder the Isotopes and then we're good. He's fighting Universe and Invincible with a freaking gun. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we still got through it. Stage 45. I don't know if I've ever made it this far, and I don't think I'm going to make it any further, because those two green ghosts are just going to straight up stop me, I think. But let's find out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Omni-Man taking some nasty punches from Damien. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, and now he's going for green ghosts. Oh, boy. Or not green ghosts. Uh, duplicate. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, and now he's he's pivoted again to university. He's trying to just destroy the whole team. We're fighting the good fight, but I'm not sure if that's gonna matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that that was a good hit, but not enough. No, I think we've hit a wall. I think we've hit a wall for the time being, at the very least. Maybe if we get Omni Man powered up. We might stand a little more of a chance, but this is a rough one. I don't think have I ever made it to stage 45. I don't know if I have, actually. This might be a record. But that is pretty good. Do I have enough to power up Omni-Man? I think I do, actually. Let's give him a little love here. Probably won't probably won't save him, but we can at least give it Oh, I'm out of XP. Finally out of XP. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but. Still got to power up. Probably, probably not going to make a difference in the long run. Actually, I think I did make it 45 in the last one too. I think I think 45 is just my wall lately. Ooh, Omni Man taking a nasty hit. Got saved by the in invisibility from Green Ghost, but I do not know if that's going to matter in the long run. Ironically, Isotope kind of spared Duplicate, which is kind of nice, but I don't think it's going to matter. Getting beat up. But we're trying. Can duplicate. Oh, if duplicate had been able to do her ability, that would have been huge. Ooh, big hit though from Universa. Do we stand the ghost of a chance here? Oh no. We were doing good right until right until some of my heavy hitters cracked. That is unfortunate. Let's see, can we do? I just, I, oh, never mind. She's dead. <laughs> well, it's, it's always a pain because they don't give you like a restart button at the at the death screen there. Let's 
do one more attempt here, but I think we've hit a wall. I'm pretty sure. Let's see what happens here. If, if, if Duplicate had been able to get to her ultimate ability or her main ability, I feel like that would have definitely helped, but alas. Okay, Omni-Man is down. That's not too surprising. Oh, maybe Duplicate. Okay, Duplicate got to her ability. That's pretty huge, but now she's gone. Big hit from Universa. No. No. No shot. No shot. It is just too much heat. It is just way too much. A valiant effort indeed. And we certainly didn't leave them without a scratch, but it is just too much. Well, that's okay. Still did pretty dang good. Let's see where our rankings sit. Eh, 53. Mm. I'll have to go back and see if I can... Well, last time, basically, I just kind of went back and nickel and dimed past stages to get over 50. I guess we'll, I'll have to do that throughout the course of the week, and we'll see if I can crack that 50 mark. But yeah, so that is all we have for today. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Like I said, come back after this week's event and let me know if I was right about it being a faction summon event or if I'm just stupid. Either way, I'm fine with it. So uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below and we shall see you next time. Have a good one.